Hello everyone, Carolina Shooter Supply here today to uh, introduce and demonstrate the installation of a new uh, rail system we've developed for the Catamount Fury. What we have here is our lower handguard, our, our new uh, tri-rail has three rails on it. Uh, on each side there's Picatinny rails and on the bottom uh, we have an, another Picatinny rail. So uh, very nice part made of solid uh, billet aluminum and it's anodized black and then here is our top rail which you can install just the bottom if you want the lower only and uh, if you want a, a rail over your gas tube we also uh, sell this top rail. This is my Catamount Fury and just a quick review of some of the things we've done and some of the parts that we sell on our site. We've got our conversion kits. This Fury has been converted. The trigger has been moved forward. Um, we've got a Magpul CTR buttstock installed here with the Hogue pistol grip, our fire control group with our trigger guard, and um, just moving forward up here we've got the magazine plate which goes right here which would allow you to use Sega magazines on your Fury with minor modifications to the magazine. It'll uh, rock and lock right uh, on that mag plate. Moving forward here is the, is the rail. I have removed the lower rail from this, uh, the factory lower. Uh, I've installed our gas plug regulator. This is a four position uh, adjustable gas plug regulator which allows you to um, control the amount of uh, gas that's going through the uh, recycle chamber. And then finally we have a uh, muzzle brake adapter. This adapter will screw into the choke threads on your Fury and this would allow you to install any of the the uh, muzzle brakes that we make for the Segas, the Vepers. Um, they, can, they can go right on that. There's demonstration videos for all of these parts being installed so please check that out on our website. But now let's get to the installation of this rail system on the Catamount Fury. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my uh, recoil assembly and my bolt and carrier. So we'll just demonstrate that. Pretty simple. Okay, like I said, I've already removed my lower handguard. Just to remind you, in order to remove the lower handguard, you just remove this screw right here, which is holding the handguard in place, and it's uh, mounted into the receiver. There's a slot here that it slides into. So once you remove that screw, you just pull the handguard out. It slides right out. Very easy to take that off. And then the next step would be to remove the upper. To do that, we're just going to take the gas tube off. So you, re you release it, the gas tube by hinging this lever up and then the gas tube just slides right off. Okay next we're going to install the tri-rail and first just one thing to note if you are going to use your factory upper handguard with our lower tri-rail we're going to have to make some minor adjustments to this upper. It's just not quite going to fit I think the easiest way to make this adjustment is just sim simply with a bench vise. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take take my uh, upper handguard with the gas tube and the bracket, and you can see this the forward bracket is 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 narrower than the rear bracket. It's just a little bit too wide, so we just put that in a vise and just kind of squeeze down on it to to bend it. We're apply a little bit of pressure. And, and get and just um, enough to bend it and then once you've bent it and just keep you know trial and error until you get it to fit and you can see mine here is still just a little bit too tight so I'm going to give it just one more bend there just very carefully apply pressure and we'll get that to bend until it fits and my, now mine's going to fit just fine. Okay we're just going to install this. It slides right into the slot there and then uh, we provide a piece of hardware here just a screw and 
and we're going to just install this screw right in, in here. Okay, so with this tri rod, I've put mine in the bench vise here, and I've gotten this screw um, as tight as I can get it. And so the next step is going to be to install some little set screws that we provide. You can see that there's just a little bit of a wobble here um, just because of the way this thing is designed. Um, and so we've provided some set screws that are going to go in here and here to put some pressure on that. Uh, against the barrel. The Allen wrench I'm using is uh, 3 30 seconds and again those are cut points set screws and I'm just going to put a little bit of tension on them not too much. There. And you can see just by putting that there we've eliminated any of that wobble so the rail is uh, held pretty firmly in place there, at least to my satisfaction. Okay, so now with the weapon turned around, I'm going to put the top handguard, the original factory piece, back in. So you can just see how it's going to look with, uh, and again, that's very tight. So I did bend it enough for that to fit. And okay, I just got that lever back down. So Okay, here it is from a distance, and I'm going to zoom in on that, but just so you can kind of see how that sets up. I think it looks really nice. Okay, the next step is going to be to install the top rail. To do that, we've got to remove the gas tube. So just take this lever back up, like so, and pull the gas tube off. And we're going to have to remove this upper polymer piece from the gas tube. I've always found the easiest way to do this is to just lock this down. You can either use a wrench or I just put it in, in my vise. I'm, I'm just going to lock, lock down on that. Like so, just to hold it in place. And then we're just going to turn this and just rotate it 180 degrees like so and then and this is pretty much how you would do it on any of the AK style handguards and just pull that piece right out the next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually remove these brackets from our gas tube there and install with some tiny little tack welds here and here and we're just going to break those welds and remove these brackets. Just enough and you can feel it just if you wiggle the gas tube itself until it breaks free while you're just hitting those welds. Just like that. Okay. So I was able to just kind of remove those little spot welds and this piece just pulls right off in this one uh, as well. So, Okay, the metal on this bracket is really soft and so I'm just going to take my Dremel tool here and just make a cut on that. So you can see on this piece, I've uh, broken it free from its weld and I've just made a cut all the way through it so that we can just bend it and pull it off the tube. Okay, so here's the gas tube with the brackets removed. I just had to pry them off and you do have to bend them a little bit. I'd keep these if you ever want to put them back on and any of the marks that you're making on this are going on the, on the underside, the, the side that you're not going to see because um, it's going to install this as the top. So, Okay, installation of the top rail is simple enough. We're just going to first put the gas tube in like so. 
clamp that down, lock it in place. Just like that, it's tight, it's right? You don't need to torque this down. Um, these screws are uh, will need to come in and out if you want to remove the, the top rail to, to clean. Uh, if you ever want to remove your gas tube to clean it. So, just hand tight on those screws. And that's going to do it. Okay, I'm just going to give you a full view of this uh, installed on the weapon. See here kind of from the top. So we think that looks really nice and Sight. So that rail does not um, block your view of, of the sights on the weapon. And that's it. Check it out. www.carolinashootersupply.com. Thank you.